Wait, we went online at one point? Oh, stream offline. That we, we didn't go offline last night until 3.12. No. <laughs> All right, kids. Hello. Check one, two. We are, we are online. Shayna. Hi. Hi How's it going? How are you feeling today? We just got up. We just got up. I was up at 7 o'clock this morning. Uh, so basically, I think I got about three hours of sleep because I took it was four. Right, Tom? Uh, yeah, I got the nine, yeah. It was like about four when we went to bed. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck are these birthday hours? <laughs> you guys are dressed. Yeah, I was up at seven. I'm dressed. I'm in my birthday suit. <laughs> this is really Shana, something. Shana, happy birthday again, Tom. Thank you, Shana. Yeah, that's so sweet. I celebrate birthday weekend. Yeah, I'm just in comfy clothes. Tom's actually got like his nice. I really like this shirt, Thanks. and it matches his pants too. Thanks. I've been trying. I I got. Like I said, I got some compliments. Yeah. He's looking stiffy. So it's gonna be Tom's screen today. It's gonna be the Tom screen. You know, whatever Tom wants, and he is the star. So. We're gonna have some fun. Exclamation point, Tom, the Greek god. Oh. Shana, that always makes me feel so good. <laughs> the Greek god. Mm. I know. Is she the only one on? Oh, we've got. I okay. What what is going to be the nickname? The mods. We got to get together. This username, no, not this username, not exist. It trips me up every time. And I love this person. And I need a nicer name. <laughs> Hi, Carpe De Young. <laughs> How's it going, Exist? Unnameable. Okay. Oh my god, I know, but it trips me up because I want to name him. Can we can we name him? Okay. Can we name him Bob? <laughs> Phil. John. We won't name him Mike. Nope. Clab says happy birthday. Thanks, Clab. Ooh, Shana said you're looking super slim in your radio station pick, Tom. I don't know, I, I'm guessing probably I must be pushing about 30. Not Phil. <laughs> I may have to I may have to replace all my shirts. I, my pants are definitely large. <laughs> but it's awesome. But it's all because of this fucking speedo stream. Sorry, sorry, no cussing today. It's my birthday. <laughs> I won't cuss today. I'm pretty sure Phil's magic is like <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna grab my pad so I can watch chat. All right. So Tom got groceries. So he wanted, he was gonna make chicken tortilla soup. And then after we got to chat and he was like, you know what, I'm gonna make an, you know, and any, all the vegetables, all the vegetables going into this soup. So he called, he was like, it's called kitchen sink. Everything but the kitchen sink, vegetable soup. more songs up. <laughs> awesome, Cloud. Hey, and I, I know, and I actually got, did you see how far I got with all my little check marks? Um, and I, I had the road trip playlist already. So mm -hmm. the next time we take a road trip, which I guarantee you isn't going to be very long. I think we're both itching for one. Oh, man. So, um, yeah. so we'll, be, we'll be ready for sure. I was exhausted. And I really morning. do appreciate all of the music. I did listen to some of them as I was adding because I'm like, I don't know this song. I don't know this song. So there's some good stuff in there. So I really Sorry. You guys. Sorry. He's mighty. Sorry. I really appreciate you guys um, putting that stuff in Discord. So 
no name says Tom is amazing. He is an all arounder, like someone in cricket sport who comes in at position fit and bats all day and saves the day. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Seriously. He is that he is that guy. Wow. Hi Creed, how's it going? Throws the kitchen sink into the soup. <laughs> <laughs> He said, a Tom of all trades. Yes, he is. I do love to cook. I... Thanks for that shout out for the creep factor. Yeah. He said, I've got some cabbage soup thawing out and I'll be enjoying this week. Oh, nice. Nice tea. Yeah, um, look at all the kale we got. I will, um, we'll go through this and we'll go through all of this in a second, what we're going to do. Because you guys know, I, I am not a chef, but I can, I have a palate for what you would say, farm farm food, I guess. Like, um, look at that pile of kale. Well, there's three kinds of kale. Wow. This is this is the kale for the soup. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's a... It's a... Lacinato? Las, Lacinato kale? See that? L-A-C-I-N-A-T-O. Yeah. Lacinato kale? Mm -hmm. Um... Creed says, I'm not a chef, but I love to cook most of the time. Oh, me too. That's awesome. And yeah, and Tom is the cook in our family. I, I've never, I have never, I can't say that I can't cook. I've actually shown myself as I've gotten older that I can. I, I don't know why I've always had a lack of confidence around cooking. I think because I know why. I'm not a creative. And I know I'm labeling myself, but I'm not. Um... And what I've really discovered, especially being now in a foodie family, and I'm not a foodie either, so, um, but it being in a foodie family is that, that cooking is a creative endeavor. So I've watched Tom over the years. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was so awesome. I probably said this in chat before, but it, he really is awesome. And it's all about Tom today. When, when, when the kids were little, um, and we had we had no money. Like I had fifty dollars to go two weeks and still had to buy baby formula. Like we had no money. Um, and Tom would get a couple of you know chicken breasts or something from the store and then come home and find whatever was in the fridge, whatever was in the fridge, and make an amazing sauce and side dishes out of it. Um, you know, and feed our little family of five. So, um, he's always been amazing like that, like very creative with food. And we did it out of necessity when the kids were little, but I love that, you know, now that he just, he does it because he loves it, and I think it's great. Oh yeah, this is going to be a great, uh, this is going to be a great soup, this is going to be a big batch too, so. Um, Where's the mic, just so we're not banging it around? Okay, no, that's fine, that's fine. It's right there, and hey, let us know how the sound is. I'm going to, so let me tell you guys what I'm going to do right here real quick is, I'm just going to, I'm going to spend the next uh, 30, 45 minutes prepping, chatting with you, and we're prepping both for the week with the kale and stuff, but I, I didn't want to go shopping again tomorrow. Um, and then I'm going to make a huge ass pot of vegetable soup that we'll eat throughout the week and weekend. And it's going to be, it's literally going to be, we have a bunch of vegetables in the, in the uh, fridge that need to be used. and. Yeah, and so I'm going to make a vegetable stock because I'm going to take what I learned from cooking class four. I'm going to make a vegetable stock with the carrots, celery, garlic, and I'm going to throw it in a pot and I'm going to let it simmer for a couple nice. hours. And it's just going to make a nice vegetable base. Nice. Um, and then we have three different types of peppers that we're going to use. We're going to actually do some small bits of cauliflower. I don't know about the broccoli yet, but definitely mushrooms, potatoes, carrots, celery, onion, and then at the very end we'll throw uh, some kale and a little bit of spinach, chopped up spinach in the very top, and then we'll garnish it with um, parsley. So. And I can chop stuff for you. So if you just give me a cutting board and a space, I can chop things. Okay, that sounds great. That sounds great. So that is what we're going to do for now, and I then. Tom sous chef. And then throughout the cooking, I'm going to <clears throat> go into my 
Lego closet. <laughs> did you already? Is it already no. posted? No. I mean, so, I, I did. I did say special Lego stream. So I've been waiting for the dining room table to be in such a state that we could set up some cameras. And so we're going to go with a multi-camera setup. Colin's going to come over. Hans is going to come over and help. <laughs> And we're going to get a, a setup out there, and we are going to unbox one of the limited edition Lego sets, and we are going to do a build this week. So that's what I wanted to do for my birthday. Um, and so I have, I might have three or four or ten limited edition Lego sets, space <laughs> sets, but I have some that have some accessories, and so we're going to kind of look at and decide which one to build. We need to build them all before, all before the end of the year. Because then they will probably all get gifted. No, yeah, we, we don't have room. We're not going to have a place for them. I might even do so. a giveaway with one. So Ooh, there you go. So all of this will go. In, we'll put this in the space channel, space and and um, but um, so that will be the stream. Ooh, clap! Is that the Apolly one, Tom? Maybe. We have to decide which one we want to do first. So yeah. So he's going to engage you in that decision. Yeah, but it will be long and drawn out. So. Um, other than that, another thing, let's just kind of talk about it. Today is my birthday. Thank you all for being here. Um, you guys are amazing, and I've had a really good week. Um, I've had lots of positive affirmations. I did this trip I really didn't want to go on. We, um, we represented our, co our company very well. We won some uh, three national awards for uh, what we do. They, I think they know what I do now because mm -hmm. we told them so. Your radio. I work for an independent radio station, and we were. Um, we and were, creep is here; he'll appreciate that. We were voted best in the nation by the music industry. So it's not just fans; it is people in the music industry, record labels, independent promoters, and other radio stations in our genre, which is um, AAA adult album alternative. And we're a very community-oriented community bunch of people. Um, it's still, it's like rural radio. I can go into this whole thing, but I'll stop right there. But anyway, it was an honor to not only win that award, um, our music director and our um, program director both were named uh, Best in the Nation as well. So it was quite an honor to uh, be representing that and to win those. It's, it's, it's amazing. So... Um, but all of that leading into my birthday, um, and I realized that, that it's not about me. Um, and so what I want, what I want to do is I want to start, I want to start this year off. Laura coached me with this a little bit, so I'm going to give her credit because I do listen. Um, day one of my 57th year, uh, started with my, my dad calling me and telling me about my birthday. And um, they got up in the morning. We lived in a small town, small, not even town. We lived in a rural, I mean, rural Wisconsin. And my mom was in labor and we had already had two older brothers and we had a, she had, they had a family friend staying there with them. And my dad loaded my mom up in this pickup truck. It was a 1951 Chevy pickup truck that he had just, uh, <laughs> that he had just painted and put a new engine in. He told me all this and uh, there's a, that's important. Um, <laughs> so they go to the hospital and they say, Connie, you're not quite ready. Why don't you hang around town? And my little town at back then, population, probably the same as it is today. Very yep, small. 700. Yeah, population 700. Um, and they were ready. And so they went to the bar, which was a bowling alley, four lane bowling alley. And they went to the bar, had a beer. And my mom looked at my dad and said, it's time. <laughs> it's time for Tommy to come. And so they went to the hospital, and I, I know the doctor that delivered me. Um, went to high school with his kids, <laughs> and uh, he delivered me. And my dad said once I was fine, he hopped in his pickup truck, and he went to a friend's house, and he traded. He traded the truck that he just finished on a 19... 31 or 37 Model A pickup truck that he wanted, and it didn't even run. It overheated on the way home, and he had to call his best friend to come and load it up and take it home. And he didn't have a vehicle to get to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> I think they had another power. But um, he told me that story this morning. I'm like, 
So you went and hung out at the bar while mom was in labor. I think yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. So anyway. I mean, back then men weren't allowed in the late, you yeah. know, yeah. in delivery. It was all just. I mean, yeah. that wasn't. And my dad's a pacer. Did. He paces, yeah. paces. He's got a lot of. But he needs stuff to do. Really cool guy. Um, but anyway, he called me and told me that story this morning. So um, pretty cool. And you know, I'm on this. We're on this health journey, and so um, we're hoping. I'm not hoping. I am. I am transforming my life. Um, and so I, I feel it coming, starting to come together uh, in a way in which is going to be meaningful, intentional. And that's where I was getting to with it. this whole long story was my day, step, my day started with my dad being intentional. And I'm going to carry that forward throughout the day. And so we were talking about soup and, and stuff. And I'm like, you know what? We need to stay true to what we started on this journey of health and wellness. And so we're going to do the kitchen sink vegetable soup today. And we have the kitchen sink. So everything about the kitchen sink, about the vegetable soup. Anyway, um, <clears throat> we're going to make a base with the... With so let me let me just read oh. chat to you, okay? okay. Because... I'm no. not watching. I need to do that. No, yeah. I know. I, I'll read it to you. It's fine. Uh, Creep says, happy birthday, Papa Tom. Um... Oh, they shouted out uh, Lightning 100 FM, <laughs> <laughs> and Darn is waving at people, and Creek says, I have to start cooking, so I'll be back soon so I can pull you up on my phone. <laughs> T asked Darn, Darn, where the hell have you been? <laughs> <laughs> I got her. Both, T said, both of your lives are transforming to where you guys want to be. Glad we get to come on, come with you on your journey. That was very and you know what? It's it's awesome. Like T and and everybody, you know, it's it's an amazing thing to have you come along as well. Yeah. Um, I said it before. We rely on them, and we do. Yes, yeah, kind of. It's kind of we, weird. It's kind of weird that we <laughs> that we come in the kitchen and we plan. We have to plan to cook. It is going to be neat to have cameras all over the house and to do some different things. Yeah. It is going to be neat. Um, they will not. They will not be in the bedroom. <laughs> oh my God! Why did you even have to? You they didn't will not have to. The, they will not be in the bedroom. Although, I think a bubble bath would be cool. No. If women can do, if they can do hot tub streams, I can do a. You could do a speedo. Bubble. You could do a bubble bath speedo stream. Why do you even bring up the speedo plan? It's gonna just continue. To... Us TikTok. We're almost to 600 followers. Oh. 400 more followers and. We got a speedo stream, fucking, honey. Fucking speedo stream. Um, so, yeah. Ooh. So we're just chatting and cooking right now. Let me get the chat up. T said, how about the bath? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> Clav said, some fun fact for avocados. We're called the na... Nahuati word, uh, hu octal, which also happens to mean testicles. <laughs> Scholars think the Nahua chose the name because the fruit has a uh, suggestive shape and was considered an aphrodisiac. Actually, it totally makes sense. They kind of do look like testicles. That doesn't surprise me. And thanks for that fun fact, Clap. Hi, Blitz and Blob. Blob leans ahead out of the portal. I'm gonna go ahead and hand Blob a berry right now. And we're gonna wrap Blob in bubble wrap. Okay. Blitz and Blob are here, and so we need to wrap. Blob is poking his head out of the portal, and so Blob will be wrapped in bubble wrap to try to preserve his safety. Toss that one off the back door. Oh, is it bad? Oh, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't want to use it. I'll use these fresh ones that you got. This one is just, it got ultra cold, Tom. Okay. Do you want to open it? I think you'd find it's it. Probably, it's, probably it's probably fine. fine. 
It's Especially fine. if you're going to cook it. It really is probably fine. It's it's still firm even. As I'm literally pulling everything out. Yeah, it's fine. Here, do you want me to move this yeah. out of the way? I don't like cucumber in my um, soup. Laura? Huh? I don't like cucumber in my soup. Yeah, I, I'm not a, I like my cucumbers cold. I don't like all right, let's make the let's get the base going. I did get a guy at work. Look at all these amazing beans, guys. These are like my fave. Can you save me some for work? Because I just like to eat. Yeah, I'm just gonna use a few. We're gonna. So what we're gonna do? Okay, we don't need all this out here, but let's. Uh, Blob ate a neutron star. <laughs> 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 it turn into a black hole blob. Mm. Okay. Might have to time travel. <laughs> so peppers. We're gonna grill some of this stuff, guys. We're gonna grill some of this garlic. We need and celery. So. Do you guys remember how cooking class told us to do the, um, remember how cooking class told us to do the base? He said, take the celery. I need, I need three of these for the soup. Yes, I rinsed the celery. Look. <laughs> Blob blinded me with his glow in the dark arm. Celery's rinsed. Blob is technically an alien. I believe it. We can be alone in the hole. Oh yeah, we, we can't we can't be alone in the whole universe for sure. Absolutely. I agree. God is always with us. Huh? We're not alone. No, we're not. I think the... Ooh, watch your fingers. Use the bear claw, honey. Please. Use the bear claw. Remember what he said? Do not... He said... He told me to just to put everything in there. The, the, the peelings, yeah, everything. Everything. You didn't even peel it, though. I no. took off the ones that were falling off only. No, you cut it to release it. Yeah, because you're going to strain it anyway, right? Yep. You literally put it through a strainer. Yeah. And... The next subject, politics. <laughs> you have to write tea. Yeah, yeah. I think we learned last night how that's not a good idea. I'm going to do something that we didn't do with, um, with, with cook, with, uh, 
uh, hammer is I'm going to add the jalapeno into the um, the base, the vegetable base I'm making, yeah. the broth. I'm going to add a jalapeno in there. That sounds like a great idea. But I'm going to get the seeds out of it because I don't want to try to... Bring you use some jalapeno. So Hammer last night did a, um, a tomato soup tongue. Yeah. That was vegetables, you know, like, you yeah. know, the tomato, and he had onion to start with, and then he did a bunch of different kinds of tomatoes that he roasted and put into the soup. Um, where was I going with this? Cool. Now, what did you just tell me? It had something to do with that. I said that um, all, this kale, all this kale here, all this kale, Laura, it wasn't about kale. What did you just say? Jalapeno. Oh, the jalapenos. Yeah. He put jalapenos in there as well. And it was like spicy. But he said it wasn't spicy, it was spiced. And it was a really great flavor. So I guess that's what I'm saying is if you put jalapeno in there, it's probably going to have the same effect, which would be amazing yeah. for soup. Good looks so good. He did tomatoes. Tomato soup and um, grilled cheese. That's cool. That was looks so good. Yeah. My favorite meal. Yeah, we need. To, what we're gonna do is that kale that that's there. All this kale. Mm -hmm. We need to chop up and put it in a ziploc in the fridge. That's just for this week. Oh, okay. Well, I can do that while you're. This is just the, for the base, and then we'll start. Okay. So let me get a. So I did a half. Uh... <sighs> Two thirds of a bunch of celery, two onions cut. Where'd our big cutting board go? I know. It it's right here. Oh, it's up there on the table. Actually, I can get that one too. Do you want? You want to use this one? Yeah, or you I'll, want me to use this one? I'll use that one. Okay. Okay. So that'll make the that'll make the base. small knives are gone that go with that set. The ones in the middle there. These two. These two sizes, they're gone. I didn't know, but Soup, so you can go ahead and cut that. Do you want me to rinse it? Yes, but you have to rinse everything. Uh, so you're gonna need it. You know what? And they tell you to rinse uh, vegetables in, guys. Um, one cup of salt to nine cups of water. Um, yeah. The, huh? One cup of salt to nine cups of water. One cup of salt to nine cups of water is like the perfect to kill the bacteria, to kill and and also um, not. Like tank food. Tom's T said, "Wash your hands after those jalapenos." <laughs> Exclamation point jalapeno. Tom's tips: When chopping jalapenos, do not touch your own jalapeno without washing your hands first. <laughs> The house sounds mighty empty now and everyone is moved out. I know, doesn't it, Clap? Like, normally when you guys were in here, there would be stuff going on. But it's not, it's just Tom and I. Yeah, echoey? Oh, for sure. Blob is from the Galax Gala Galaxy M87. I think that sounds familiar. Why does that sound like a car? <laughs> he said. <laughs> Which knife do you want? Oh, Messier, Messier 87. I've actually, I don't know where I've heard of that. Flip. Let's 
seriously, I love this. Like, we're learning more about blob now. Tom, have you read up on Kepler 22b? No. Do you know what that is? If yes, what do you think? No, but say it again. What is it? Kep Kepler or Kepler, K-E-P-L-E-R. I know what that is. 22b. But I don't. I don't know. I don't have the context. I'll have to look it up and see if I have. Um, give me just a second. Do you want me to look it up online? Oh, yeah, sure. So. I'm here to help. I'm going to put, I think the echo is coming from where I had that mic. I'm going to put the mic right here. I'm going to hang it overhead. How is that, chat? Planets beyond our solar system. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. okay, I have. Um, Hold on. Let me just read you. This is from the NASA website. Kepler 22b is a super Earth that could be covered in a super ocean. The jury is still out on Kepler 22b's true nature. At two point times Earth's radius, it might even be gaseous, but theoretically, an ocean world tipped on its side, a bit like our solar system's ice giant Uranus, Uranus, whichever you want to say turns out to be comfortably habitable based on a recent computer modeling. Researchers found that an exoplanet in Earth's size range at a comparable distance from its sun and covered in water could have an average surface temperature of about 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 15.5 Celsius. Because of its radical tilt, its north and south poles would alter alternately bathed in sunlight and darkness for half a year each as the planet circles its star. Wow. Wow. Is right. They, that, literally, Tom, there is a planet type called Super Earth. That is cool. Yes, that is so cool. Discovery date, 2011. Wow, guys. Okay. That's cool, Clab. That's very cool. T said much gooder, thank you. Those sounds. Good. Yeah, the echo should be gone now. Messier 80 or Messier, I don't know how you pronounce that. 87 is 53.49 million years from Earth. <laughs> it's like how do they even find it, guys? <laughs> think about that. How do they even discover that? That is crazy stuff. I know. I love it. I love it too. Well, now we've got all those telescopes everywhere. Oh yeah. And some of them will outlive us and it'll tell, you know, tell people stuff. Well yeah, we'll be, we may be gone by the time that you keep, you know, I we know. even get pinged by. More than likely we will. Not to be morbid, but kind of is what it is, right? Well. At some point when it gets so hot, we're going to have to go underground. So how fine do you want this? Pretty fine, right? Because yeah. we don't want... Yeah. And, I'm, and I don't... And the stocks... Huh? Okay, so what I do... You don't want the stocks? What I do is I peel... Let me see. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I don't want the stocks. What I do is I... I think those, when they boil, they're I don't want this. Fine. I don't want the stocks. I'll just do that. I'll help you if you want me to. No, I'll do it. I got it. Kay. I know. I can. Okay. De I can. De I can devein them. Okay. Devein a kale leaf. Okay. So. Get that but instant through your portal. Through multiple portals, they only go so far. Oh, blitz. Much to Tom, I keep up with space stuff. That's really cool. Yeah, it is. Clab, cool. Clab's a space fan. Yeah, I love it. I'm glad you guys put that channel out there. You guys, there. Once, once we have more freedom, we're going to be going down and enjoying more of like the launches and things. We're going to dig into some of the stuff. We, I want to go. I'd to... like to even do some in Texas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Because we've always done the ones in Florida, but I'd really like to go explore like the space program in I'd Texas. love to do, I would love to do the, um, the ones in New Zealand as well. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Other countries? Yeah. For sure. 
do New Zealand. So, Clab, what about the space program in other countries? New Zealand is pretty, I think New Zealand is pretty active right now. Like in Europe, because... Uh, Europe's not because they but do they have collaborative space programs like they have collaborative everything else? Sure they do, but they um, we they yeah absolutely. They, Portals are hard to control. <laughs> I'm sure. So does does Blitz end up other places accidentally? How does Blitz live through anything with how reckless he is? I'd rather devein kale than shrimp. Oh, sure. good. I'm glad that that worked out for you. So we'll add, um, we'll put cauliflower in the uh, soup. <coughs> it's not going to fit on there right now, but it will when I make it. Oh, Laura made me a birthday cake. Did you guys see the birthday cake? <laughs> I don't make birthday cakes. This is the cutest little birthday cake. I definitely, you know what? If it was up to me, I probably would have gotten you an ice cream cake. So, yeah. I just because I, I like ice cream cakes better than regular cakes. If you gotta choose, I think they'd probably be better for you than regular cakes, but. Okay. All the deveined, big, leafy kale things. Okay, so now I'm okay to chop this. How fine do you want it? Pretty fine? Yeah. And then did you say that I'm going to have to um, dry that off? Is that what you said you were doing? Are you going to use that? Are you chopping stuff for the soup too? No, here, you, I just sharpened this one for you. Oh, okay. Because this that one is a little bit... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just sharpened it. So I will... I the celery for the soup. It's kind of raining again, guys. Yeah. Totally put a little damper on our weekend, but it's almost okay. It's fine. You know, we it's have, really okay. We, you guys have never, you guys have really seen it with just Laura and I here. I guess we've done a couple of, um, a couple of the, um, cooking streams, but I need to call Sarah for your brother, too. Um, I think he was going to do it. Uh, Okay, so do you have a pot or a bowl? You want me to stick this stuff in as I'm cutting? Yeah, I have a bowl for you. We'll just put everything on the counter here. <coughs> Excuse me. Guys, we've been trying to clean up these cabinets as well. There's so much. Do you guys for anybody remember these this pattern of crowware? This was mine as a kid growing up. And my mom gave it to us. Have a range wait. I'll devein both if I get to eat the shrimp and you guys eat the kale. <laughs> Blah poking tea and gentle my little alien. We have Clap said we have S range Karuna, Sweden. It's most satellites from most satellites. Oh, uh, launch from there. That's cool. You know what's funny? My cat head out of my leg when you poked into pocket dimension and grabbed a tiny bowl of pilgrim berries. What? They are safe for human consumption, or should I go get some grapes? <laughs> what are pilgrim berries? I don't know. Who is that? Blob. Blob and Blitz. I love the side story. Blob and Blitz when they come in. Absolutely. I do. It's, I like I, it when... I think it's cute and it's fun and it's... Do you guys want to be... Um, 
you guys want to be closer with the camera? Do you want to do you want to be on? Do you want to be on the chopping board? It's just chopping. Man, this has pretty. That's a pretty looking counter, isn't it, guys? What with all the with all the vegetable yeah, colors? With all the, with all the colors, yeah. That's nice. Maybe we'll inspire some people to eat some veggies this week. You're gonna put this in soup, so it really doesn't matter if it's wet, does it? No. Homework. <laughs> okay. Good. I love it. The biggest astronauts we have is Christer Foglesong and Jessica Meyer. Or Mir. I'm not quite sure how you say that, but. M E J E R. That's cool. There's a female that's like one of the big ones there. Clap. That's cool. It's really cool. You like carrots in your soup? You like carrots? They're okay. I like carrots raw better than cooked, but they're I'll good just, for you. I'll just do a couple carrots then. It's up to you. I mean, you like cooked carrots? Huh? You like cooked carrots? I do like carrots in my soup as long as they're cooked. Then add as many as you like. But I will, I will pre saute them. size of a quarter and are sweet with the texture of an apple. Ooh. Texture of an apple so, and the size of a quarter. So Laura, on your, is that good size for your, um, or do you want them cut in half? Quarter, them cut? Yeah, smaller. Like that? Even, yeah, I can even go smaller, but you can do you. Okay, uh, so, if you, do you want, want me to? Yeah. What do you want me to cut yeah. now? There. That's, and that just goes in the fridge. We're not, that's not going in the soup. Okay. <clears throat> Doing great, Dixie. <clears throat> yeah, I figured at, at this Here. point, the flowerettes will make their own, and if there's like, you know, and I'm you not still, gonna get too careful. And you still have some in a bag that I bought in there, so we'll just put them all in a container, in a plastic. Well, I wanna eat the ones that are in there first. Yeah. I'll just make sure I put those, I can make two salads for this week, just to use those up. Yeah. The old veggies, and then the new ones will be after that. Try not to get, try not to throw away anything, you know? These vegetables are too expensive. <laughs> And so what we do guys is put just these in um, containers, bags, 
And then when we go to make a salad for work, it's just a matter of like taking ingredients, plopping it in a bowl and moving on. There's, there's really not a lot of prep that needs to happen. Now we pre cut everything and then just make it and... and... It really is handy. I found that like we can make really nice salads for so little work that it's just more accessible, you know? In the morning when you go, because it literally takes a minute. Okay, so do you want me to put this in just like Ziploc bags? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So once we're living on, uh, and that's the other thing is once we're living on a boat, the, the, the amount of space it takes up in the fridge for salad, for this kind of stuff all chopped up is minimal. Yeah, it actually is. It's a <clears throat> lot more before you chop it up. But once you do, it's, it's great. I'm going to save these tiny, tiny pieces, too, because those can go in smoothies and whatever. Yep. And that's the other thing is we, we're going to make a we're going to make a smoothie here. I haven't. I'm going to make a smoothie. Oh, I don't have any. Um, that's OK. I say I don't have any pineapple, but that's fine. I can do the strawberry. Do we have any canned pineapple? Nope. Chicken use? I, mean, I didn't buy any frozen either. make a smoothie for lunch. Here What's next? Um, that kale right there, that's lunch kale. Okay. So that will need to go in. There's already a Ziploc in there, but if you want to alternate them, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Kale doesn't look bad like lettuce does. It is way past lunchtime. T. I I went shopping when I should have eaten something. And I didn't eat yet today, so I'm doing great back on my phone. How are you? Doing good. Tom Tom got a little bit more sleep than I did after we all left last night. We went to bed, I don't know, it was after four. Yeah. It was closer to five. Um, I was up at seven. I it was light outside, and that's the bane of my existence. I can't sleep during the day. So. And we were really thinking we might hop in the truck and go camping. And it's nice out right now, but it was rainy this morning, and the forecast said it was going to rain tonight. So we didn't want to get out there and then have it raining when we were setting up. And, and I don't mind breaking out the Lego tonight. Mm -hmm. Which is a matter and we all And we are all about, like... You know, seize the day is also look at the moment and figure out what your opportunity is and what you want to do. Just because we planned something doesn't mean we can't do something different right now. So that's what we're doing. Now this looks like my kind of feast. Awesome, Dixie. Ziplocs are my bestest tea. Woman after my own heart, love. Oh my God, I love Ziplocs. I use them, for, they're my organizational friend. And when we talk about um, Legos, we already give all those Legos to Nick. Yeah. The boxes where I, I organize them all by yep. size into he, Ziploc bags. He took all of them. <laughs> I did it by like size and color. <laughs> into a plastic drawer container. Yeah, I mean. so Ziplocs then put into plastic drawer container based on size, smallest on the top down to the biggest. It was like the most fun project. I mean, we had the Legos from when I they love were Legos. We had the Legos from when they were kids. Yeah. And so it's kind of neat. All that stuff's going to the kids now. Yeah. Which, speaking of Legos, I'm gonna go into the Lego Vault, and we're gonna start a. We're gonna have to do a vote at some point. Ooh, class said one word: kale chips. Yeah, we haven't made them yet. No, we haven't. Please use. Use your bear claw more. We, you need your fingers. Yep, T said that's how I do it, prepping my salads. Dixie said love that. Gonna have to start doing that. Ziplocs are the best, yep. Yeah. T said on birthday boy, it's way past lunchtime. Yeah. Pilgrim berries, the fruit of the star bramble, which can be extracted from the star bulb. 
and the flowers of star bramble oh my gosh there's an okay authors in chat there's a book forming here with blitz <laughs> dixie said happy birthday honey thank you dixie because you're not watching chat right so thank you dixie clap bear hug don't mind me now oh bear hug clap High five. Oh, that's cool. Hugs for all. It's not OCD at all. It's organizing, damn it. <laughs> T. Thank you for, for validating all of that for me, T. It's only two commands. Some don't work, but I did want to test them out. That's cool, Clab. <laughs> I love it. The good juju commands. I like the high five. That's cool. Yay! You got it. Well, I guess now I can claim I'm celebrating Papa Tom's birthday when I have my juice box later. <laughs> Absolutely, Dixie. Tom bought himself a cake that actually looks like it has boobs on the top of it. It's very weird. It's very weird. I don't find that surprising. Okay. So, hey, Tom. What? What am I cutting up next? And can I leave the stocks in this one? Or no? No. Damn it, really? I mean, I I, no, I, that's, I don't like the stocks. That's fine, okay. I took them, I've been taking them out every week. Okay, I got you. So, who in here eats kale? And do you normally like keep the stocks? Or is that, is this, is this like a thing? Because I'm kind of like, why does it matter? The stocks aren't bad. Sounds like a Shana cake. <laughs> yeah. I love kale too. Do you eat the stocks, Dixie, or do you do you devein them like I'm doing here? Because Tom likes his kale deveined. You use the stocks in soup. Might have to tell Tom that. Because I, I do, I feel like I'm throwing away like a good part of it. Because I mean, they're... It's good. It's actually really good. I guess it's, it's not that much of it when I'm looking at how much, you know, not gonna make him eat something he doesn't like but because it's it's taken a lot to get Tom to eat kale so if I gotta devein it I will what are the three options for Legos tonight the three options yeah. out of the ten in your closet I don't really have ten you've narrowed it down to three I really don't have ten okay I really only have four four so we can do the International Space Station that one is 864 pieces okay Do the moon lander, which is a crap load of pieces. What's a crap load? I don't know. It's a thousand eighty-seven. Yeah, this is the Apollo fiftieth anniversary version, so that's kind of cool. I wasn't, I wasn't even going to break these boxes open, but I might as well. And then we have the Apollo, the NASA Apollo Saturn V. 2000, almost 2,000 pieces. Wow. That one will take more than tonight, for sure. So, I will tell you that I have some additional, I bought some add-on kits for the, um, for the moon lander. I bought an LED aftermarket light kit for it, and some other things, but those are the three options that we have for tonight and tomorrow, or in this week in general, to build that. But I did buy, this is the aftermarket L, it's the, uh, 
LED kit uh, light tailing for the Moonlander. And then here is the LED light kit for the Apollo rocket. And then here's a, a stand for the Apollo rocket that I bought. And some of this other stuff is for the Lego train. We have the Hogwarts Lego train. We have a bunch of Lego trains as well. But anyway. You're outing yourself as having a Lego problem. So. And I will admit, I, I fed the Lego problem for a long time. When the kids were little, I, I absolutely yeah. bought every single Lego set that there was. So anyway, that's what we have for Legos. Okay, let's see. So Dixie did say she uses the stocks in soup, Tom. Chop them up similar to celery. <laughs> Actually, I, I've written back now. Honey, that yeah. might not be bad if you want to just use these for the vegetable broth. Oh, yeah, we can throw them in there. Yeah, we shouldn't waste anything. Like that way, then yeah. we're getting the nutrients out of the kale. Who? Whose idea was that? Uh, Dixie's. Thanks, Dixie. That's kind of how I treat them like celery adjacent. My husband heard you say it took a lot to get Tom to eat kale, and he's over here shaking his head at me, letting me know he still won't eat kale. <laughs> Tom eats kale. Come on, you can Tom do eats it. kale. Just try. So I will tell you, one of the things that did make a difference is cutting it up small like this yes. in salad so that it's not so overwhelming and it blends with the other vegetables. It's, it really makes a big difference because you're getting a little bit instead of just so much of that texture that can be a lot. So cutting up the kale and doing like a chopped kale salad for people who have a problem with kale tends to make it a bit more like lettucey. Can anybody else worry when Blitz and Blob go quiet, or is it just the mom and me? <laughs> you know what? Sometimes when you I know me. sometimes when you ask questions, they come back with a vengeance. So be careful. <laughs> that was the first one. Yeah. Then Blob starts acting up. No, I'm with you, D. When my son was little, I offered to turn one of his bedroom walls into a Lego wall. Ooh! Holy moly! That's awesome. The Blitz. Blob looks over at T. <laughs> Blob was eating a pilgrim berry. I have to go start dinner soon. It's okay, T. We'll still be on later. <laughs> still does he know sometimes, still does he know sometimes he eats kale. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You mean, you mean your husband doesn't know that he sometimes eats kale? Yeah. Because it's actually not bad. Why are you worried? You tend to get into some mischief when we're not hearing from you. Okay, what to build? Oh, they did a poll. First one, they couldn't figure out which one the first one was to name it fast enough. Okay. Um, that was 67% said the first one. Two people. Moonlander was the second one. Apollo rocket, nobody said Apollo. Wow. Okay, so we're doing the... Um we're doing the International Space Station. There we go. I think you guys just like the solar panels, huh? You just like the big appendages hanging off of that thing. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Do you like green pepper, Laura? Yes. I do a lot. T said, I like big appendages. I cannot lie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, pole, pole is still going. Sorry, pole okay. is still going. Okay. 
We probably have to put what the first one was. Yeah. Just so that people How many know. people how many people took it already? I don't know. Four, five, six now. Four to start with. So what was the first one, Tom? The first one was the was International was Space Station. Space Station. The second one that was That was number one. The second one was the Moon Lander. And the last one was the um, the actual big rocket. All this big bunch of kale turns into this one bag. It's so great. Clab set it on five minutes. Thanks, guys. The whole thing is cool. Very cool. And then tomorrow we're doing a birthday yoga. And Laura will make sure she's doing appropriate yoga. For what? Huh? As, as opposed to inappropriate no, yoga? No, you won't. Not, no advance tomorrow. Huh? No advance tomorrow. No what? No advance. No advance. We'll do, we'll do an easy stream. Do you want to do a meditation one? Yeah, I'll I should at... ask because that one, you guys, is going to be basically, I can do a 30-minute meditation one in addition to, we could do a regular flow and then a 30 minute meditation one. Now the meditation one is gonna be kind of, it's definitely gonna be rest. It's gonna be about focusing on resting and, um, and quiet and calming your body. So if anybody, you, let me know what you think about that. So if you've not done it yet, it, they, some of the, those can be some of the most emotional um, practices. For me, they were, they were some of the best ones. Oh, Darren said, I'm all for the meditation yoga. Okay. Cool. No, that's good. All right. So we can do, so then if we do 30 minutes of a meditation yoga, what would you like the, I would think that the second 30 minutes would be the meditation. So whatever we do for the first 30 minutes, then we come down and just rest the second. So what would you like to do for the first 30 minutes? You have a specific body part or a type of yoga I or... I do, I do. You do? I do, yeah. but we don't know who's looking, so I gotta be careful of what I say. No. Why? I'll just, just do... Well, just don't say anything inappropriate. It's just talking about types of yoga that you like. What is that? Huh? You know what, that's inappropriate. Glad you did that off camera. That is not yoga. Uh, that is not yoga. Can I put these in the pot? I would, I would beg to differ. Can I put these in the pot? Yep, can you cut them in half? I would say that would be yoga, because it would involve... See, this is really, literally everything in the kitchen sink. I love the fact that we're doing like a meal prep and throwing the extra greens and stuff into the pot to make a vegetable um, broth. This is like, I'm kind of digging this right now. Creep says, tomorrow I will keto birthday cake in your honor. <laughs> there you go, keto. Nice. Oh, he'll eat a keto birthday cake. There you go. This one needs to end first. Oh yeah, this pole you mean, yep. More meditation. Oh, we do two rounds? We could do two 30 minute rounds? I could do a, I could do a yin and then a meditation. The yin is kind of like the slower, more thoughtful, but. You know. <laughs> but we should work our bodies out and get a little, get a little blood flow. That's good for us as well. And then we can meditate through another 30 minutes and recover. I think that would be ideal. I think that would be ideal. You're literally, and now I'm throwing the pepper pieces in there.
So what's the deal? We can't have music in the background right now, or we can? We can if you don't want to save the VOD. I'd rather save the Lego. The, well, no, I don't. I don't need to save the VODs. I'd rather have music playing. Okay, well, we can do that. We'll just unpublish. Verbally, you guys cool with a... Although you're... If really, this, 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 you don't want people to be able to see the prep and the final... Because what will happen is then your final stuff won't be able to be shared. We won't have um, like clips and just things. You know what I mean? I guess we have clips, but yeah, but, gonna, it'd make it but, more, but it we would, won't even be able to use clips. But it'd, it'd be make it much more. Um, I could put on the DMC whatever the. Why don't I put on a non? What what is that, you guys? The type of music that doesn't cause copyright issues. Just for background. Would you like that, Tom? I would like music. I'd really like, I mean, yeah, I think I would like, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm fine with not having the VOD if you are. I'm fine just, with not having the VOD. Okay. We're just doing more of that, which means. I'm not doing a lot of it. Huh? <laughs> having the music is, is engaging now. It is. Okay. That could be another poll. Do we keep, <laughs> actually, it's kind of like. I understand the bus stuff. That's stuff we want to keep, okay? Okay. But we're going to be doing tons of this type of thing. Yeah. That's fine. Having okay. music in the background is... And I could play... Okay. Um, I'm good with that. I could get a speaker and I could play... Um, I could I could restart and just save the first part of this. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and finish up the cut-up and then we'll... Then we'll along with like our healthy eating stuff which um this this part and it also goes along with my heel 90 stuff that i've been i haven't been as good about blogging about and i'm gonna blog about the reason why as well so what we'll but, do so what we'll do is you guys have seen pretty much what we're doing now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on music for an hour and then when we go to make the soup laura then we'll stop it again then you'll have that when we start assembling the soup, if you want it, well, or we can just play music. It's up to you. I thought you wanted to finish doing this, or no. Now you want me to, just, you want music is what you're, music, yeah. okay, 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 Tom wants music and it's his birthday. The Mir Space Station did win the pole collapse. Okay, awesome. Now do it on cam. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh wait, are you talking OnlyFans? What are you talking about, T? Oh, and then she goes to lurk. Excuse me? Stop and start the stream if you want to save this prep. Yeah. Do you want to save this prep? Yeah. Did yeah. we really do anything that's... Yeah, it's good. We can start and save the first VOD. Well, yeah, because it was also what you said about Mm -hmm. the first year and mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. or the next year, so. Yep. Okay. All right. So, do you want to close out this pod mm -hmm. before? Let me go ahead and let me just get, um, let me get a, where's, where's Alexa? Here we go. There she is. Okay. We'll just tell Alexa to play it in yeah. a minute. Um, Go ahead. All right, guys. Yeah, thank you for um, thank you for joining us for birthday Saturday and for yeah for being here. Yeah. So are are we gonna come back to yeah. to do meal prep? Yeah, we're gonna come right back. Go? Yeah, we're gonna come right back. Okay. We'll, only, we'll only be off for a second, right? Huh? How long are you gonna be off? Oh yeah, for no people. But are you gonna? Are we going to film more me meal prep? Or yeah, no? we're like done for the night, as yeah. far as VOD goes. There's not a part two. Oh, there might be a part two later. There might be. Okay, yeah. we don't know. Yeah, but we're gonna go to but music. We're gonna, we're we're gonna, gonna play go music. play some music. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Awesome. So, folks watching the VOD, this is uh, meal prep. 
meal prep Sunday, it might start, or Saturday, it might be start to become a little bit part of our routine, or at least meal prep part of the week. Yeah, definitely going to be, might be during the week. It's working out really well. I yeah. kind of like this vibe. Yeah, and we're going to have more cameras and stuff, guys. We're going to have, yeah. yeah. And, like, baggies, look at them. This is so much kale in here, it's actually getting heavy. So, anyway. All right, All let's... Right. We will see you back in un momento, por favor. Um, hey, Darren, do you mind uh, the the next, like, when we go on this next time, um, just doing, no, I can do it on publish. It's fine, too. Actually, I can just click on the, the on publish. Let me just do it. Wait. Darren doesn't need to do it. I got this. I got this. You got it? I've got my computer up, so. Do you guys see these peppers just squirting with, oh my gosh, these are amazing. Actually, you know what? I don't need to do that because we're just going to have one bod. Okay, so you have to do it after we start. And then, yeah, I might ask you, Darren, if you don't mind. <laughs> Sorry. I'm all over the place. Okay. All right. Once I once I restart, if you can unpublish the VOD. I guess it doesn't matter. I can wait till it's done and unpublish it too. Okay. But we are going to restart. See you back here un momento. Let me know when you're starting. Should be starting the whole time.